We've been attacked by a scrap vessel that appears from. They don't know I'm here. They can't hear me, I think. They haven't realized that this pod is behind the wall. We were attacked by a ship that broke from warp jump on our starboard side. They breached our ship and started capturing everyone. They're looking for me. This is Security Chief Ardo Dranel of the Distant Star. I detached our stellar location and send assistance as soon as possible. We have been attacked. <laughs> <laughs> if you can hear me, you may be playing at Hits in your house. My name's Big Boss Scrabbit, and this is my ship now. <sighs> you can hear me, can't you get? This is a nice ship. It's mine now, though. And I'm gonna make it better than you and them cocky boys could ever dream of. The humans only give us a hell of a crumb. But they're all gone now. <sighs> Most of them anyway. <laughs> the captain of this mighty vice vessel wants to talk with me. Ain't he brave? Boy, it's working! <laughs> Well, that was fast, wasn't it? Oh, I let him go. Him and a few of the others. As I want them to go tell the others where we is. I told my boys, I told them. Lads, it's about time we had two things. A proper bloody fight. And a proper bloody big ship. And they is well happy now. <laughs> Let me tell you a little story. I was grew up on a little world you probably ain't heard of. Since I was a little slow man looked at after me dark. I always wanted to be a boss. You best believe I was gonna have me way. Told all of us bosses that we had to find over ships. And I asked to who me war bosses were I ain't grown this. Cause Rascal's proper various that demon man did him a bad one. I ain't grown done for all male are you see. And Rascal ain't too happy about that. No it's proper personal. And I ain't grown nice to look out. Yeah, what are you humans that's listening? If you know when this ain't grown to be, you should let me know. That's the biggest wah ever is after his little red horse. And we just gotta find him. And when we do, he's in for a right old morking crop and <laughs> me and the boys was well in the crop with him clicky clicky things. When we got a call from Weird Boy No Eyes saying we wish to come home and hit an orders. Well, me and the boys were right having it. <laughs> that was how I heard that the order was from Grasgill himself. Well, me and the boys ain't gonna ignore something like that, is we? We know better than the piss off guys himself, eh? <laughs> We all got back on our ships in bugging off, leaving them clinky crab things to lick their wounds and wonder what was happening. When we got to the monster point, I nearly lost my mind. I never seen so many bloody hawks. There must have been at least a hundred of them. I couldn't count past that. But there were so many ships and hawks that I couldn't even see the planets. Anyway, guys, smoke so loud we can hear them all through the ships and all. Right, listen here. Y'all know about old Malai. Them Yumi with the red circle eye thing, right? Well, it turns out some red kid named Angron has got to kill them. 
Well, I ain't gonna tell you that the only kid in this whole galaxy who was allowed to do for it was me. So you must be listening and you must be listening proper. You's all gonna go find them. And then any kid I say you ain't doing that, I'll cross them to this and lead them to the ropes on my ship. Ain't no one allowed to kill me and that's but me. I ain't having it. So go out there and talk and find them. Jamin Brink. Any kid who tells me where he is gets his own shipping crew. Any kid who tells me any information about Igor gets to join me crew. He gets to stay the loop. <laughs> and if you're listening, Igor, you best get you running. Cause I'll get you. I'm gonna make slow work of you doing your in. I heard you'll be all that and I'll be having it for myself. After I pull it from your soaking fingers, you're stealing. Good for nothing. Grout tasting. Grab eating. Piece of soak. Now all do you get out there and find them? Tell me where I'm going this. And if you try and do them all yourself, and I find out, I'll pull you through so much pain. You wish you was a squid, and big that squid kid's long ship. Am I clear? Me and all the boys was all shaking in the boats. Everyone was quiet for a long been thinking about that. I'd heard about how human man cause was, and now I know for a fact it was real. We was all proper pissed off about old Bailey. We don't have much respect for humans, but he had earned his. <laughs> when we set up to look for Aaron, I got to thinking the best way to find a human is to ask the humans in it. <laughs> so me and the boys set about to get in the human ships and taking things to find stuff out. The homies that we talked to were real quiet, even shaking. So we told them we was after the Diamond Prince. <laughs> and they told us anything they knew was what a lot most of the time. <laughs> I got told my human war boss to hang on in his warpy voice. Was hanging around a base called Armageddon. That's what gas me old Bailey. I thought I had some proper freaking voice on that planet. If you know anything about armor yet, or where it is, you best be talking to me now. And if you know anything about Aigron or his lot of kids, you best be talking to me right now. Or else, God himself ain't called the biggest war. I know I ain't gonna let them down. I'm gonna make the most what tells them where this David Ritz is. And Ark will crop and no he won't get him away. But to any orcs won't to hear this. Have you got any information about all this? I got a hold full of bits and gold and what have ya. And if you can hear me, I ain't wrong. You must be ready, cause when we catch ya, and we will catch ya, we's gonna grind you in the face and buy no trucks with ya. I'll put your horns in me shippings and mash you against the bits. You'll fracked up when you killed old Bailey, and we ain't gonna let you get away with it, you ready winged cat. This is a distress signal from Escape Boat 6 aboard the ship, the Distant Star. Oh, I won't so good finish it! <laughs>